So I made a, um, a joiner attachment for my table saw a while back, and since I've redone my fence, it won't work anymore because it slid over the old part before I added this on. Now it's, this is too wide for that. So I'm going to make another one, and I'm going to. I have this old piece of wood that I got from a. It was at a warehouse when I was driving by. I went by, and it was out by the all the pallets and everything. So I'm going to use this to make a new one. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through here on both sides and kind of smooth off and flatten the edge, and then. Uh, and then from there I'll cut the, the notch out that you need for the, for the joiner. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Okay, so I'm going to want to uh, have the blade tall enough to plane the edge or joint the edge of uh, like as thick of, as a 2x4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark on here. Actually, let me make sure that this side's going to be up. So I'm going to actually want it on this side. So I'm going to put a mark here. So when I cut the cut the notch out <clears throat> for jointing, I want it to go a little bit above this line so I know how high to adjust the blade. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to adjust this so that the I want the blade the edge of the blade and the edge of the wood even so I'm gonna put this here and then I'm just gonna tap the fence over until I want to get a tooth that the square will be up against That looks pretty good right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to lower the blade so it's below the below the table. I'm going to move this up and I'm going to double check it by just eyeballing it and that, that looks that looks pretty good. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna hold it tight against the fence and I'm gonna start the saw and then I'm gonna raise the blade up. And I want to raise the blade so it's just a little bit higher than this line right here. Once the blade is up to that height, then I'm just going to feed the wood through to cut that notch all the way through here.
Okay, so now what I want to do is, this is the surface that the wood is going to be pushing against when I feed it through to joint it. So I want to clean off this edge here and then just kind of smooth this up a little bit. So I'm just going to go real light with sandpaper just to, just to clean off that edge. That's, that's pretty good. this corner just a little bit. Smooth off this edge. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is I need to drill a hole. One somewhere in this area and one maybe back here somewhere so that I can clamp it to the fence when I want to use it. All right, so I'm going to live on the edge here, and I'm going to I'm going to drill these holes by hand. So I'm thinking I'm going to want one probably right about here. And I want the hole to uh These are my these are my fence clamps, and I want, I'm not sure, I think that might be a little bit too small. Yep, it is. A little bit bigger. There, that'll work. Now I just need to do another one back here. I think I'm going to go with right about right about there Work. all right so now we'll we'll hook this thing up so I'm gonna go you just want to line it up so that it's kind of in your in your slot right here. So I'm going to go with that right there. Okay, well I got these two pieces right here, and uh, if you look at these, you can see there's a there's a little bit of a gap there. So we'll try jointing these two edges and see how it turns out. This is so, this is how they look after I run them through the joiner. It's a, it's a pretty nice fit. Now sometimes when you do this, depending on what the, what the edge of the wood is like, if it's really bad, you might have to run it through a couple of times to get, the, to get all the, the wow out of it. So, but, uh, hey, for not having a joiner, this works pretty good. So, uh, hope you like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this kind of stuff. And give me a thumbs up if you like this. And I'll see you next time.